Hey everyone, welcome. In this video, we are going to model this clamp. Let's start together. I'll close my model. I'll open a new part. Firstly, we will go uh, make ready our body. And I'm creating here a sketch, which is looking like U shape. And we are combining our midline with a line and converting construction geometry. Uh, here dimension is 108, here 140. If we make this three point vertical, will be fully defined. And then we have radius 20, two time here. And we are making an offset. 38 millimeter outwards and then we close this profile and here we are adding a line which will be in 40 and degree of angle will be 14 After this operation, we make in the middle mid plane 14 millimeter thickness, and we go create here a sketch again. We look surface normal to, and we convert entities. These are unnecessary parts. And now we say here. 9 millimeter offset we close the shape now 11 millimeter extrude and then I make mirror the other side uh, after this operation we go create here a sketch a line on this line a circle diameter is 40 from outside we are here tangent three and a half millimeter downwards set from surface reverse of set three and a half millimeter upwards sorry offset two and a half yes this is what we are searching for we have some uh, areas that is unnecessary we use the rate phase common for this under surfaces we could cut them also this I found uh, much more practical uh, when this operation is done we are going to make convert entities by opening a sketch here and we are going to make two millimeter upwards or five let's make and downwards sorry I did a little bit mixed yeah here nine something like this we are searching for now we are going to use a cut line we create a close contour in fact Something like this going to work. We can make fully define also. Collinear here. This here. Collinear. Here collinear. And after this operation, we just say these areas 
through all through all one direction yes this is good and here a 10 millimeter radius here 25 and here 15 two time two two here also two and you can make bigger yes it is looking fine now final right radius is three everywhere here here gave some error we should create here as a radius here we need radius a lot of radius this will be three here yes Yes, for now it is. Uh, this is done. I will save this uh, in a new folder. Clamp. This is body. And we could give some color. For example, iron. So important. This is done. Now we go create our screen. Form plane is sketch. Profile like this. And it will look good to have one construction line for using as a center line 182 sorry it was 182 182 and diameter here going to be 30 and height 28 of a little bit going crazy we should Correct. Here, twenty-three. Uh, here, six. Here, six. Here, twenty. And this zone is fifteen. Everything is fine. And we make a revolve. Here we have chamfers. Let's make three three chamfer here. So here also. And small chamfers. Uh, one and a half. Here one. We are going to cut our screw profile thread. Convert line, and here we create our headings. This is metric 20, and then we will have two and a half pitch. Start angle zero. Yes, last operation almost. We look normal to our section. Helic starts. 
from here to here at line and I need two time triangle this will be for construction make collinear we make them equal and we are going to give here pitch dimension two and a half and we just bring it here in place and it needs horizontal relationship we will have here a connection line and this line the flat area on the thread uh, pitch divided by 8 it's a standard dimension and this is at diameter 20 means here should be at 10 by this way I determine my root diameter without giving extra dimensions if you wonder why I'm doing that this wasn't good I can keep it here because I don't want to break that relationship I can convert this and on new sketch I can give a 0.2 radius and then with this profile I can create my thread helix and profile with cut swap I can say okay it is time to hide our helix and this area will be cut it we just make converse surface face and it is on the surface I just cut it like this there are also here here creating a sketch convert entities and then we are going to cut yes the last operation on this body will be creating here our hole or handlebar we have 16 diameter handlebar here I make 16 and a half and I say my problem cut for me both direction through all this is also good now we can save this as a screw now I will show one nice trick we are going to cut our main body with the help of our screw I will here bring my screw browse yes insert part say okay and we just go now our move body we are going to place this one as if we are in uh, assembly environment these two will be concentric and I will move it again a little bit upwards for example in y direction that's good we, this part here because of we uh, want to cut with our screw our uh, profile features combine subtract this is main body this is the body will be sub uh, used as a subtraction and then we are going to create here two time chamfer 
centric. This will be 22. After this operation, we just go cut 45 degree. Now I need a plane. I choose two flat surfaces and program creates for me in the middle a plane where I can use for my mirror operation. I will mirror my uh, this chamfer here. This body also ready. I make my assembly. We can start body here. Browse. Screw here. Okay, now the rest we will continue. We have a wedge, which is 45 millimeter diameter. Height is eight. And we are having in both sides radius one. And I am looking from side. And we are creating here one tangle. This two line vertical, this two line horizontal. Then I obtain a square. We can place this one here. And the dimension will be here one and a half. Linear sketch will be at five. And we are going to copy the entities that we made it linear. They are looking uh, underdefined. And I need to give spacing. Also, I need to align them in the same line. That's why here I gave a relationship. We just cut like this. And we say this uh, feature. I want to make pattern. Yes, this is cut it. We are saving this. Also, I will bring it to my assembly environment. Here, center it. Uh, now uh, I need here uh, an operation. I need to add my screw for placing wedge and I mentioned here will be 27 and we connect to point like this and we can convert them as a construction geometry. Uh, now we use whole, whole wizard and we place two time a uh, point on the surface and then later I'm moving my original points because a point not specify a direction first you should say to your program this will be on this surface and then its understanding will be downwards in that direction and then you move your point uh, we created here a screw I don't see a cast iron. Cast iron here. Okay. Yes. 
Now here we should cut holes at 27. Twenty-seven. I am adding this kind of uh, objects in uh, SolidFox when I'm in Sketch because I'm in the same time using them in the drawing. This center line will be automatically in drawing also. That is very useful. Uh, for metric five, five and a half hole. We cut it here, and now. They are looking normal too. They are placing here two time circle, uh, diameter nine. There's at the bottom. Extrude cut. Sketch plane offset. Three millimeter offset I'm making from starting point. Then I have this kind of hole, chamfer, and after this operation, we just go bring them up now. Place I'm in the centering the. Operation here will be now adding a screw, then pull some screws, set string screws, sorted head, this one, sorted cheese, resting name for bolt, dot metric 5, 12 is enough. And then later we go bring here and with control our control pressed I copy one and my alter pressed and I'm bringing on this place understand it that it is going to be centered there it is going to give this dimension. Uh, last part will be, yeah, there's two more, more part. Uh, handlebar. It is also a simple thing. Diameter 16. Length 200. Can make in the middle. In case of need, we would like to use maybe the middle uh, planes. That's why I try to always use. This is, will be 22. Uh, 14. Or 12. Yes, 12. Now we can make front. Plane choose here. And this object just mirror at the other side. This is very, very beneficial to make all the time in the middle of planes. Radius 5. Chamfer. And here, small fillet. Also, little flat here one yes we can save this one handlebar we don't close it then it is here comes visible and i just placed on my assembly and I'm going to give my mate. It is fine now. Uh, yes, last object. Let's go create that one also.
35 diameter, 30 height, and both side chamfered. 1.5 is good. Here there is a cutout which is 23 diameter and that is 15. Here we can put a little chamfer. Like the last one, uh, the wedge. This will be also cut at the bottom. We open the sketch and we use this what we made a vertical this to horizontal and then later bringing this object to here. Horizontal. Here one and a half. I selected linear the y axis five first we make sure it is aligned and then second uh, center dimension pattern dimension effect. And after we put here a construction geometry, and then later we just make a mirror here. Through all ball. Select this one, circle pattern. Yes, this is also good. Uh, last operation. We are looking from side. We are creating a construction line. Here, five millimeter or six, let's make. Uh, I think five better. Object, uh, circle, here uh, 15 and a half, outside to outside, and then we can make a mirror here. Will be from bottom six and a half. After this operation, this will be cut to all both. Yes. And now I'm going to create here some extra cutouts, and then operation will be fully done. This will be seven Sorry. Let's see what's happening here. Okay. I think something like this will be fine. Error. And again, to object mirror.
and later that we bring here this will be here made here made these holes will be used as a uh, keeping this part and the screw together exactly this is what we were uh, searching for only there will be here pins and we can give different colors it is possible to give other relations also if you don't want these things turning for example you could make the surface and the surface aligned it's up to you guys to the other options i think we'll make something nice by the way this bolt is a little bit short you better choose the longer one 16. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you have learned something new in this video. Uh, I made it a little bit fast because there was a lot of parts. Sorry for that. If you like my video, please make, make comment 